It's a beautiful day here in downtown Estes Park. We're on Elkhorn Avenue, right across the street from our EPTV Channel 8 studios, where our town, as you can see, has been rapidly cleaning up after our rivers did a bit of misbehaving. Well, yesterday, Channel 8's Sean Doherty went out and spoke to a few of our downtown residents and shopkeepers, and this is what they had to say. Cleanup is good. Uh, Kirk's Mountain Adventures and Fly Shop is up and running here within a day. Um, no loss of property here. And uh, just hope for the best for the people that are doing a lot worse than us. We were really, really fortunate. Uh, we got down here early enough in Sandbag, and our area is just high enough that uh, we didn't get nailed. They're getting the town cleaned up. Elkhorn's open, and we're going to be ready to go. Both poppies and Mama Rose's both got hit by water. We're treating this kind of like our January cleaning. All the staff's here trying to get open as fast as possible. Everybody's ready, ready to roll. We're really, really pleased to be back downtown in Estes Park and see everything open again. It's amazing how quick the town has come together. We still have movies playing at the Park Theater, the Historic Park Theater, 100 years old this year. We're all well and happy and, and looking forward to people coming to see us again with the beautiful fall colors. Hey, we're cleaned up. The town is cleaning up real fast, so come on down. The beer's cold. We're here, we're open, we're ready. Well, we don't want to diminish the effect of the devastation and the suffering that it has caused. I just want to point out that Estes Park is one tough community. We're calling it Mountain Strong. And as soon as the roads are open and we get the clearance, Estes Park is ready, willing, and able.